Wakanda Forever is set around the fictional nation of Wakanda. The country has seen incredible technological advancements through vibranium, a fictional element native to their nation. The film follows the events of King T'Challa's death, with the people devastated by the loss. Without the protection of the Black Panther, Wakanda remains defenseless. This, in turn, attracts an assault from the underwater nation of Atlantis and its leader, Namor. Without their king and protector, the Wakandan people need to stand up for themselves and protect their legacy, now led by the sister of the late king, Shuri. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Wakanda Forever Top 5 Technology Innovations. But before we continue our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos. First one is new Black Panther suit, which utilizes some really sweet nanotechnology. This upgrade allows T'Challa's suit to materialize over the body in an instant with no zippers or Velcro required, and it is sure to have most of the other Avengers knocking down Cher's door for a sweet upgrade of their own. This new Panther suit also comes with the ability to defend the incoming attacks and emit large blasts of force in every direction. The suit is threaded with vibranium, a nearly indestructible fictional element that absorbs and converts kinetic energy into power. After Boseman's death in 2020, the torch will be passed to a new wearer in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Perhaps to a female Black Panther, Vibranium gives Wakandans the ability to talk through wristbands in an incredibly similar way to how we communicate through Skype today. Second is the EMP discs that we saw briefly in the trailer, these handy little gadgets emit a powerful electromagnetic pulse, which effectively destroys any electronic systems within range. The EMP disc is arguably the most advanced piece of technology. The EMP disc allows any vehicle to become a remote-controlled device from Shuri's stable. As soon as the disc lands on any vehicle and is activated, a simulation is created around the sand table. This makes it possible for the user to remotely use any vehicle from a distance, as long as it is functional. The EMP disc can be seen by Shuri herself when she helps her brother T'Challa in chasing Ulysses Clow, a black markets dealer dealing in vibranium. She drives a car remotely from her lab in Wakanda, while her brother chases Clow atop the vehicle as the Black Panther. This was happening thousands of miles away in Busan, South Korea. And the third is Panther-shaped blasters which she uses during the film's climactic battle, Sherry's wrist blasters give Tony Stark's repulsors a serious run for their money, and I have to say they are definitely superior when it comes to style. Sure, he just won't let her foot up the pedal with these great inventions. Moving forward to number four, perhaps the most important and definitely the largest piece of tech from Wakanda is the cloaking system, which shields all of the real Wakanda from the outside world. Think the mascara in Wonder Woman, but with more science and less magic during one of the two in credit scenes, we see T'Challa choose to reveal the actual Wakanda to the rest of the world. But this is another example of useful technology that we may see come into play in the MCU down the road. This next invention is not quite as sexy as the others, but what makes it especially cool is its roots in tech we see in use in the real world. And the final one is number five. Wakanda's Maglev trains are like the bullet trains of Japan on a high dose of vibranium steroids, and while their use is relatively simple, they are a fundamental part of Wakanda infrastructure. The Wakandan Maglev train is also a development by Shuri that shows how vital her intellect was to the nation. The advanced railway system utilizes magnetic levitation to move the train at extremely high speeds through the capital of Wakanda, Berninzana, also known as the Golden City. It is primarily used as a mode of public transportation. Another use of the maglev train is transporting the vibranium from the Great Mound at high speeds. However, raw vibranium is volatile, and moving it at high speeds has its own risks. For that reason, Shuri had developed a sonic stabilizer around the railway system, which deactivated the powers of the vibranium during transit, making it possible to move it at high speeds. That's all for today's video. So which technology is looking cooler to you? Please let us know in the comments. And for more videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.